Hi, Tom here, and in this week's Circle Line Art School video, I'll show you one way to draw a house using cubes in one point perspective. Please click and subscribe to my channel, Circle Line Art School, to keep up to date with all the content I create. The first step in this drawing is to draw a horizontal line in the middle of the page. And then we can draw a cross in the middle of this line for our vanishing point. All parallel lines will go towards this vanishing point in this one point perspective drawing. Next, draw a rectangle around the cross so the horizon line goes through the rectangle. And the vanishing point is more or less in the center of the rectangle. Next, we can divide the rectangle up so that it has a square in each corner. Now we can use our vanishing point to extend the edges of the two squares at the top by drawing lines from the vanishing point, diagonal lines that go through the corners of each of the squares. Now we have two corner lines, we can join these two lines with a new horizontal line along here. This will be how far the cubes come forwards towards us. Now we can draw two more diagonal lines using our vanishing point again. And next, draw a vertical line going down from the two new corners on the right and on the left. Next, draw two more diagonal lines using the vanishing point again for the lower corners of our cubes. These two corners should line up so that we can draw a horizontal line between them for the base of the cubes that we are drawing. So now draw just two more lines from the vanishing point going through the corners of our squares and then we can draw the last two vertical lines to complete our two cubes in one point perspective using the one vanishing point in the center of our horizon. In one point perspective, everything above the horizon we are looking up at, and everything below the horizon we're looking down at. So now we have the structure for the house at the top. We can next draw some of the lines from the vanishing point coming towards us and going through the corners of the bottom two squares of our original rectangle. Now we can draw a horizontal line between the two cubes for a sort of walkway. Next, if we draw two vertical lines behind this walkway, this horizontal strip between our two cubes, by drawing these two vertical lines we are making the building look as if it's going away from us. The cubes are coming forward but these new vertical lines recede because they are nearer the vanishing point, which is the furthest point from us, the viewer. Next, we could draw some thin posts to hold up these two cubes. The lines of the posts should stop at the same horizontal line as we need them all to be the same length. Next, we could draw a depth to these two areas using horizontal lines and diagonal lines going from our vanishing point. I think I'll make these two areas into reflecting pools. So far, this drawing is symmetrical, left and right symmetry. I'll keep it that way to make it simple. Now along here we can divide this line into even parts and then use our vanishing point to draw a series of slats in one point perspective. Basically in one point perspective all parallel lines which are going away from us will look like they meet at the vanishing point which in this drawing is in the center and it's in the center because we the viewer are looking straight ahead so we're looking straight to the horizon. 
So the parallel lines in this drawing are going to follow through into the center vanishing point. So next in this drawing, we can add more lines at the back of the building and then some details. And then I think I will draw a beach of pebbles and sea on the left and right and some clouds behind the house. For this drawing, I'm using a 4B pencil, which is the pencil I normally use. A 4B pencil is a pencil that is soft, but it can make a very dark line and it's good for tonal shading. The shapes that I'm drawing, I'm sort of making up as I go along. So if your drawing starts to change from this, that's absolutely fine. The thing I really want to help you with is the basic principles of how to draw in one point perspective so that you can get a drawing that you're happy with that uses the principles in this drawing but you can make it into your own drawing as you go along. So I wouldn't spend lots of time trying to correct your drawing, making it look like mine. But if you just work through the basic principles of one point perspective, then you can have fun making your house into whatever shape you want. Please visit my website, circlelineartschool.com, to learn more.
please subscribe to Circle Line Art School to keep up to date with all of the drawing tutorials that I make. Thanks very much for watching, keep drawing and see you next time.